Good morning everybody and welcome to my studio. It has been a minute that you've seen my face. <laughs> I've just been in a painting frenzy and enjoying the creative flow in my studio, especially after recording my last class, which was that beautiful Owl Wisdom class. If you haven't checked it out yet, what are you waiting for? go over to my Patreon page. I'll pop the look of the page up here and um, there will be some links in the description of this video so you can check that out. But that's not the reason why I am recording this video. I am recording this video because a dear friend of mine, Sandra, has blessed me uh, with her beautiful um, oracle deck that she has created. Now this was a art from her heart project and I am so impressed with this. Now she already gifted me this in, now I must remember the dates correctly, was it June? I think the 14th of June she sent this to me but you know welcome to Africa. Uh, I think this arrived in the country in South Africa a few days later, let's say a week or so later and ever since then, I've been waiting for any kind of notification to know where my parcel is. So you can imagine, um, this has not been my first radio. So poor Sandra thought that this gift was lost in the mail because surely it can't take more than three months, almost four months to get to me. But this is the nature of the postal service right here in South Africa. There is absolutely no hurry or haste in any way shape or form in fact I still haven't received any notification of any sort to tell me that my parcel has arrived in the country except for Sandra telling me via the postal service of the US that it is in the country and I should go pick it up but where where must I go pick it up South Africa is big and um, just in Pretoria, the capital city here they, there are a number of postal um, office uh, buildings not that most of them are operating. So uh, it would be a pointless exercise to drive to all of them to try and see where your parcel are. So I've messaged them time and time again. I think I've written about seven emails and I finally got hold of somebody that's still alive and willing to communicate with me um, over uh, on the Messenger app and they tracked the parcel down and I was then finally able to allocate some time to go into the city and to get my beautiful gift. So here's a reminder to everyone, if you want to send mail to South Africa, don't just pop it in the mail and send it because the chances of the recipient receiving your little gift or mail through the normal postal service is, you know, dodgy at best. So um, lots of scams going around. But anyway, I don't want to get into that again. What I do want to get into is this beautiful gift. Now, uh, I'm going to put the unboxing video here so that you guys can see me fiddle away with all the plastic and um, sticky types and so forth. But Sandra, thank you so much for this beautiful gift. It means so much to me. And I'm going to just tell the world all about it. And um, the first thing that I opened was this lovely card with my name on it. And I'm definitely going to frame this because this is so beautiful. And a lot of the elements on this beautiful art, Sondra, that you shared with me um, is, um, is something that I can relate to. So this is definitely going in a frame and it's definitely going up in my studio. That's really beautiful. She wrote me a lovely card and on the back of the card there's a beautiful meaning. Um, it is quite complex. I'm not going to um, try to read this because there's a lot of Irish and Welsh English in here. It's tongue twisters, but the meaning is really beautiful. I resonate with it. It's really lovely. So this is definitely going in a frame. Okay, let's get into this deck. Now, this Oracle deck from Sandra um, really changes the game uh, as far as Oracle decks is concerned. Firstly, because she doesn't tell you what to think about it, what to believe about it, what to 
sort of absorb about each card. It's pretty much up to you and your right brain and your own higher self to interpret um, the meaning behind the card. So, you know, as a creatively fit coach, I just love, um, love, <laughs> I just love symbology. Um, in positive psychology, we use a lot of symbology to find meaning and um, sort of to understand a language that comes through your higher self, through your right brain, into your intuition. And there is, um, there are a number of ways that you can interpret that information and make use of it. Now, one of the ways that we do it as great fit coaches is to take this information to the canvas and to explore it with paint and with expressive art and to see where that leads you, both internally in your heart, in your inner being, and also as the art that is your life. Um, in other words, how do you use that wisdom and information to maybe adjust your attitude or um, your perspective, your viewpoint, your bias, um, and maybe become aware of any limiting beliefs or ideas that's maybe holding you back and not fulfilling um, your full potential. So let's look at this even deeper. Okay, let's just look at this again. So it's art from my heart, a meditation and symbol inspiration deck created with love by Sondra Ushin Criddle. I hope I said that correct, Sondra. So Sondra is one of my patrons. She's also in my creative heart group and she's also a creatively fit coach amongst many other things. And she created this beautiful Buddha painting with me in one of our online classes. And this was phenomenal. In fact, this Buddha is hanging right here. Let me quickly turn the camera. I hope you will be able to see it. Whee! There's the original painting and the original class is also on my Patreon. So, if you're interested to paint a beautiful Buddha with me, again, head over to my Patreon and get into it. It's all there, ready and waiting for you. Right, let's look at this. On top, there was this lovely, beautiful little card where Sandra um, just said, Hi, Gideon. Thank you, Sandra, and her beautiful um, information here. So, it is. you can find Sandra at sondracriddle at gmail.com. I will put it all in the description of this video. And her website is www.sondracriddle.com. So, do check it out because everything that you want to learn about her, you will find on her website. And I will also include a link to her Amazon shop for if you're interested to get into this beautiful deck. Right, let's get into it. Oh, Sandra, I just love this little beautiful box and all the love in there. I mean, you lift it up and there's love. I, I just can't get enough. It's absolutely stunning. So um, she explains that this deck is um, Buddhist based, which really resonates with me because I'm a Buddhist, sorry. Uh, touching my mic there and um, I love meditation and meditating through art and creativity and exploring all of this beautiful symbology through my faith and meditation is really rich and supportive for your journey. So she explains a little bit about that and uh, here you can see Sandra. she's absolutely beautiful and a little bit more about what she does and her intention for working with this deck. And uh, you can use, you know, maybe a drawing every day as you get into your creative practice and just pull a card and just see what symbolism comes up and run with that energy for the day or maybe paint it or just reflect on it in your studio. So we will definitely be playing with this deck in combination with my other spirit guide deck that I've been using recently and a lot of it will become clear to you now. And then she's got a lovely dedication in there and then she also talks about the benefits of meditation. I really just love this. Now, if you've been around me for a minute, you know that I'm planning my next class for Patreon and it's going to be all about dragonflies. <laughs> 
So it was no surprise when I opened this deck and this beautiful dragonfly um, card popped out to me. And this is a good example. There's a lovely symbol of the dragonfly and you can explore all of that in depth. And then it says transformation, adaptability, spiritual growth, opportunity and change. And that is exactly what we will be exploring in my upcoming dragonfly class. So do um, keep an eye out for that. So I'm just quickly going to flip through this deck because it is just so beautiful and a lot of them contains her own um, beautiful art that she's painted by hand as an acrylic artist and beautiful photographs are taken and it is used in this beautiful deck. So there's some printed symbology and then there are beautiful paintings like this. I mean, you can see our connection with the owl as well. Absolutely stunning. This peaceful serenity painting, Sondra, you captured this rainbow uh, palette, absolutely beautiful. I am blown away. Um, you've really captured the mood. This is just masterful. So just painting or paging through this beautiful deck for you guys so you can get some idea of what to expect in there. This is such a powerful symbol, the snake. A lot of people are petrified of snakes. Um, a lot of sort of connotation to being evil and, you know, death. But it's such a rich symbol because not only can you learn about your personal boundaries through this beautiful symbol, but also it's a symbol about healing and facing your own dark side and both the poison of the snake is also the cure for the poison so this is beautiful duality in there and rebirth and healing casting off your old skin this is so powerful tree of life triple spiral the whale yes <laughs> i also participated in the yes painting challenge with whitney freya and uh, Sandra, this was a beautiful painting that you did with the lotus flowers and again the dragonfly i mean really that is so powerful so it is a yes go ahead and enjoy your life so really this is just a party in a box and uh, i'm just so um, excited to get into this and using this in my creative practice every day and um, you will definitely be seeing a lot more of this deck in my upcoming videos. Another symbol that I'm very fond of to paint is the Hamsa, both in all its, uh, both its positions. And uh, I've got plenty of that art on my channel as well. So painting your own Hamsa is a very powerful way to activate that energy in your life. Just continue to page through all of this beautiful, beautiful cards. I love all the symbology. Dreamcatcher. <laughs> Another symbol that is really pertinent in my life. I also have a class with this over on my Patreon. Wonderful. It sounds like I'm making this all about me, but that's not the case. It's just because we have so much in common. Um, we trained. Uh, with the same um, trainer with Freya, and um, we are moving in the same circle so it is absolutely no surprise that some of the symbology that's in this deck you will find um, in my life as well so it just shows you how um, similar uh, in vibration and frequency we are so guys I thought let me break in this deck I page through it let me get this um, shov shoveled up. What is the correct word? Shovel the cards. Shuffle. Shuffle the cards. Shovel is something else. <laughs> I'm just going to take the instruction cards out. They are marked with the love in the background. So that you know those are instructional cards. But hey, there's no rules, right? Absolutely no rules. So I'm just going to shuffle this deck for us and uh, today is the 1st of October 2024 and um, for everyone watching this video I'm going to ask the universe to reveal to us one card um, that we can sort of all relate to today in this message oh this one popped out so I'm going to look at it 
So let's put that down. And <laughs> Hamsa facing down. It's all about abundance, prosperity, inviting goodness into your life. So this is my prayer and my wish for you guys that you will have a uh, Hamza blessing today. May you experience more abundance and prosperity. Uh, I bless you with goodness and may it flow into your life um, without any hindrance. And uh, yes, may this day be blessed for you guys. Oh, Sandra, thank you so much for this absolutely wonderful and amazing gift. I am definitely going to cherish this every day in my creative practice and as a creatively fit coach it is such a phenomenal tool so everyone you can own your own deck and yes um, i am going to share the link with you guys no i don't get paid to promote this deck i was just blessed with this deck as a gift from sondra but i would love for you to support her and support her art which then in a way supports your creative practice as well. So do check out her Amazon link on this video and check it out and order your own deck for yourself and um, explore and experience it for yourself. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So I don't know when I'm going to get into my um, uh, dragonfly class it should be soon but at the present moment i'm busy painting my beautiful orchids and i'm recording that process as well and sharing it with you guys i think as soon as i'm done with those orchids um, i might get into the dragonfly so maybe that might be ready for christmas we'll see how the time flies it does get a little bit busier now at the salon as well so my time to be in the studio uh, will get a little bit more and more limited if all else fail, I can work on it on my holiday over Christmas and then maybe have it ready for January. We will see how time will support us in this journey. And it's all about balance and um, using the time that we have available together. But in the meantime, there's so much to check out on all of my platforms. You can check me out on TikTok. Thank you to everyone uh, that supports me on that platform. I recently reached my first goal of a thousand followers i'm so grateful because it opens a lot of doors for me as a content creator um, on youtube i'm still growing and i'm excited to always share there with my creative heart community and obviously on my patreon um, i'm also on instagram but it's not my main um, platform i just share there because uh, you know it's just out there <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really focusing a lot on my TikTok these days. I'm enjoying the platform. I'm enjoying the tools. And I do feel as a platform that they share it with a lot more viewers than any of the other social media platforms. And uh, I guess that's the reason why they are so successful. I think other social media platforms is really making it very difficult for content creators to grow. So if you don't have a TikTok channel yet, what are you waiting for? Get over there and check it out. There are amazing um, content creators and like myself that is really uplifting and positive and beautiful. And I hope to see you guys over there real soon. So I just wanted to take this minute with a cup of tea. Cheers, everyone. I've been blabbing on for an hour. I just wanted to share this beautiful gift with you guys and just check in with you guys. So if you are curious and you want to learn more, you're welcome to message me and um, do check out the links below and uh, I'll see you guys again real soon. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and to follow for more content because there's a lot more coming. Right guys, stay creative and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye for now.